Binary Operations and Closure. A binary operation on a set is a rule that combines two elements of the set to produce another element of the set. Let's look at an example. Let S be the set consisting of 0, 1. Is multiplication a binary operation on S? Well, 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. Notice that the outputs are all zeros or ones. So the answer is yes. Multiplication is a binary operation on the set S. Let's look at what's called the multiplication table for this operation. It looks like this. Let's go over how this table works. For a, B, and S, we evaluate A times B by taking the entry in the row given by A and the column given by B. As a specific example, let's look at the computation 0 times 1 equals 0. To do this using the multiplication table, we look at the row given by 0 and the column given by 1. So the entry in the row given by 0 and the column given by 1 is 0. This shows us that 0 times 1 is equal to 0. I would recommend pausing the video for a moment at this point and making sure you understand how the other three computations work using this multiplication table. Multiplication is a binary operation on the set S because the only possible outputs are 0 and 1. We see here that there are two inputs, 0 and 1, and there are four outputs, but all four of those outputs are zeros and 1s. Let's look at another example. We'll use the same set. S is equal to the set consisting of 0 and 1. This time we ask the question, is addition a binary operation on the set S? Well, let's do the four computations. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. That one's OK. 0 plus 1 is 1. That's OK. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Also OK. 1 plus 1 equals 2. That's not OK because 2 is not in the original set S. So the answer is no. Once again, the problem is that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and 2 is not an element of the set S. Let's look at the multiplication table for this example. We see here the problem is that the inputs are 0 and 1, but there's an output of 2, which is not equal to either of those inputs. Note, it may seem odd that I use the expression multiplication table for the operation of addition. Nonetheless, multiplication table is a general expression that can be used for the table describing any binary operation or any operation at all. It would also be acceptable to call this last table an addition table instead. We will use symbols such as star or dot to represent arbitrary binary operations. If the binary operation is one that we are familiar with, then we will use the appropriate symbol. For example, we will use the symbol plus when the binary operation is addition. Let's try an exercise. Let S be the set consisting of negative 1, 0, and 1. Determine if each of the following is a binary operation on S and draw the corresponding multiplication tables. Now's a good time to pause this video Try this problem yourself 
and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. Okay, the first one is multiplication. Let's look at the table for multiplication. And we see that all of the outputs are zeros, ones, and negative ones. So yes, multiplication is a binary operation on this set S consisting of negative one, zero, and one. Next, we have addition. If we look at the multiplication table for addition, or equivalently the addition table, then we see that there's a two and a negative two in there. Both of those cause a problem, which means that the answer is no. Addition is not a binary operation on this set S consisting of negative one, zero, and one. The next one is subtraction. The multiplication table for subtraction, or equivalently the subtraction table, also has some problems. There's a two and a negative two in there as well. So the answer is also no. Subtraction is not a binary operation on the set S consisting of negative one, zero, and one. For the last one, we have star where A star B is equal to A. In this case, the output A is equal to one of the given inputs. So the answer is Yes, this operation star is a binary operation on the set S. Some authors refer to a binary operation star on a set S, even when the binary operation is not defined on all pairs of elements A, B, and S. We will always refer to these false operations as partial binary operations. We say that the set S is closed under the partial binary operation star if whenever A and B are in S, we have A star B in S. Let's look at some examples. The set consisting of zero one is closed under multiplication. This is just another way of saying that multiplication is a binary operation on the set consisting of zero and one. The set zero one is not closed under addition. In other words, addition is a partial binary operation on set zero one that is not a binary operation on set zero one. Let's try another exercise. Let S equal the set consisting of negative one, zero, and one. Determine if S is closed under each of the following partial binary operations. Now's a good time to once again, pause the video, try this exercise yourself, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. This question is actually asking the same thing as we've asked in the previous exercise. So first, let me put down all of the multiplication tables that we already drew. For number one, multiplication is the set S closed under multiplication? Yes, that's the same thing as asking if multiplication is a binary operation on S, and we already answered that. The same goes for the rest of them. S is not closed under addition. It's not closed under subtraction. And S is closed under the operation star, where A star B is equal to A. Let's look at another example. Let S be the set consisting of A, B, and C, and define star using the following multiplication table. Is star a binary operation on S? Well, notice that all of the outputs are either A's, B's, or C's. So the answer is yes. Is S closed under star? That's just another way of asking the same question. So the answer is yes. Compute B star C. Okay, so for this, we look at the entry in the row given by B and the column given by C. So we see that B star C is equal to A. Let's try another exercise. 
let x equal the set consisting of 0, 1, 2, and 3, and define dot using the following multiplication table. Is dot a binary operation on x? Is x closed under dot? Compute 2.3 and compute 3.2. And now's a good time to pause the video, try this exercise yourself, and then resume the video and check your answers against mine. Okay, so is dot a binary operation on X? Well, if we look at all the possible outputs, they're all zeros, ones, twos, and threes. So yes. Is X closed under dot? Again, yes. That's just another way of asking the same question as in number one. Compute 2.3. Okay, we look at the entry in the row corresponding to two and the column corresponding to three, and we see that the answer is three. Compute 3.2. This time we look at the entry in the row corresponding to three and the column corresponding to two, and we see that the answer is one. Let's look at another example. Addition on the set of natural numbers is a binary operation. Indeed, whenever we add two natural numbers, we get another natural number. If A is a natural number and B is a natural number, then A plus B is a natural number. Equivalently, the set of natural numbers is closed under addition. Here is what the multiplication table or addition table looks like for addition on the set of natural numbers. The ellipses in the table indicate that we continue to increase each entry by one as we move to the right and as we move down from one entry to the next. As an example, to compute one plus two, we look at the entry in the row corresponding to one and the column corresponding to two, and we see that we get the number three, which is what we would hope for. Another example, multiplication on the set of positive integers is a binary operation. Indeed, whenever we multiply two positive integers, we get another positive integer. If A is a positive integer and B is a positive integer, then a times b is a positive integer. Equivalently, the set of positive integers is closed under multiplication. Here is the multiplication table for multiplication on the set of positive integers. As an example, to compute three times four, we look at the entry in the row corresponding to three and the column corresponding to four, and we see that we get 12 which again is what we would hope for. Another example, let S be the set of integers and define star by A star B equals min AB, where min AB is the smallest of A or B. Then star is a binary operation on the set of integers. Equivalently, the set of integers is closed under star. As an example, negative five star three is negative five because negative five is the smaller of the two numbers, negative five and three. Here's what the multiplication table looks like for this operation. Notice we have lots of ellipses here because the set Z goes infinitely from left to right. And if we write Z going downwards, then it goes infinitely up and down. Another example, subtraction on the set of natural numbers is not a binary operation. Equivalently, the set of natural numbers is not closed under subtraction. To see this, we just need to provide a single counterexample. A counterexample is an example that is used to show that a statement is false. For our counterexample, we could use one minus two. 1 minus 2 is not an element of the set of natural numbers. Another exercise. For each of the following, determine if star is a binary operation on S. If it is not, provide a counterexample. 
Once again, you should now pause the video, try this exercise yourself, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. The first one, the set S is equal to Z, the set of integers, and A star B is A minus B. The answer to this is yes. Subtraction is a binary operation on the set of integers. Whenever you subtract two integers, you do get an integer. S equals 2M plus 1. That's the set of odd natural numbers. And A star B is equal to A plus B. The answer to this one is no. For example, 1 is an odd natural number, but when you add 1 plus 1, you get 2, which is not an odd natural number. It's an even natural number. Number 3, S is the set of natural numbers, and A star B is equal to AB plus 5A plus 2B. The answer to this one is yes, uh, because multiplication and addition are both binary operations on the set of natural numbers. So when we repeat those operations several times, we still stay inside the set of natural numbers. The last one, S is equal to 2Z plus. That's the set of positive, even integers. And A star B is A to the B, which means multiply A by itself B times. The answer to this one is yes. When we multiply even integers together several times, we wind up with an even integer. And if they all start off positive, the result will be positive as well.